Jim, it, it sort of uh, reminds me of what uh, Diamond said about going back to work and um, and the need for office space. Uh, as uh, Bloomberg this morning reports that J.P. Morgan's trying to sublease about 700,000 square feet in the financial district and Hudson Yards. I think Diamond's quote essentially was, look, if you have 100 employees, you're not going to need 100 desks. You're going to need like 60. Yeah, well, this is the problem with the uh, largest tower in San Francisco, uh, Salesforce. Uh, nobody's there other than Mark when he announced the quarter. I mean, there are a lot of people don't really want to go back. A lot of people turned out to be, uh, I'd say, uh, inexpensive to keep at home. David, you know, when you keep someone at home, you, don't yeah. need to, you can close the cafeteria and you can have them have kale nope. soup. <laughs> yep. Chunky. Uh, I think I got a lot of that in the closet here. Um, I have that, too. You're you know, right. My wife bought all this stuff yeah. that I'm never going. I mean, honestly. I mean, I it's know. crazy what yeah, you want. Yeah, we, we, we did that. Guys, you know, just before we quickly move on here, on this subject, though, of remote and, uh, and flexible working, uh, um, again, back to this series I've been doing. I spoke yesterday to Mondelez CEO Dirk Vanderput. We'll have that up for people fairly soon. Uh, it's here to stay. Uh, you know, he was talking about the fact that they're just going to have more employees with so-called flexible plans in terms of working from home or working in the office. Uh, and... It doesn't appear that we're ever going to go back to the levels, at least at this point, based on all the conversations I've had with these CEOs when asking that question that we saw in terms of people in the office in 2019. What that means for commercial real estate, unclear, but one would imagine not particularly good. Um, but that's, Jim, that's just a, a trend that's, that's, that's going to stay. Not that, of course, people are going to go back, but you're not going to, again, 60 percent. Maybe that's the number. Right. 70, and, 80 percent. You know, he, he's bought this chocolate company, HU, that I like very much. Uh, obviously, he's got the Tate's cookies. I mean, his lineup of snacks fits right in. Carl Mondelez is a company that is fabulous if we're staying home. Wow, their cookies are good. He's got it. Uh, Dirk, please stop sending us the stuff. You're killing me. I mean, I mean, you're killing me. I'm putting on too much weight. He sends you? He sends you stuff? We send a big I, thing at Tate's. I want some Malamars, man. Send me Those are Malamars. seasonal. Those send are seasonal. Some Malamars. Dude. Those are seasonal. I don't know uh, if yeah, I can get Yeah, it's still cold. Here. It's still cold. I'm looking at snow. Well, that's because you're not at the office. You don't get that no. if you're not at the office. The cafeteria. That's true. You have Beyond Meat yeah, there? Yeah, Jim. Well, uh, well I was going to say, uh, to the degree that we start going to the office, I don't know if you saw Lyft. Uh, best ride demand for that company since the pandemic began. Yep. Shares, I think, are closing in not far from a two-year high, uh, going back to August, I think, of, of 19. Um, gas demand last week, Jim, was the highest uh, since the pandemic began. And then Starbucks uh, yesterday uh, with some announcements about bringing Oatly oat milk uh, nationwide, some new vegan options like an avocado protein box. So menu innovation is going to try to keep up with the, the return of demand that you've been talking about. It's, Starbucks stock's been amazing. Uh, in the last few weeks, it, it, it's become a, a, a play on America opening. Uh, I love Kevin Johnson. I think it's really much more a play on throughput. But you know what? A lot of coffee, a lot of coffee shops went out of business. Of the 150,000 stores went out of business, a lot of them were coffee shops. So Starbucks reigns supreme, Carl. Uh, yeah, we'll maybe talk maybe down the line about um, coffee prices and coffee mm -hmm. roasting prices, Jim. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.